The Mutran Chronicles, Chapter 1 As I, Makuta Mutran, recline in my hive in Kardanui carving this record, I am gratified by the sight of shadow leeches taking form in their bubbling vats. The invasion of the universe core is proceeding well, my newest creations are spreading darkness and corruption, and in general, it is good to be alive. My assistant, Vikan, is busily stuffing a failed experiment back into its crate. Normally, I dispose of any accidents as soon as possible. But in this case, this hissing, biting, and incredibly toxic creation would make a fine gift for Kirox. Ah, Kirox. It was only a hundred millennia or so ago that we were the best of friends, working together to create new and better Rahi to aid the Matoran. It was during the reign of Makuta Misrix, first leader of the Brotherhood. The fortress of Destrol had only recently been constructed, and all Makuta were based there. Our sole job at the time was Rahi creation. I recall one particular day when Kirox and I were bent over our slab, trying to make something useful out of one of Spiriard's experiments. Too many legs, muttered Kirox. And those teeth? Do we break it down and start over? I asked. Or simply lock it in a room with Spiriar. Miserix chose this moment to enter. He took one look at the squirming thing on the table and snorted in disgust. Then he glanced up at us. We have a situation, he said. The inhabitants of Zia are demanding higher payments for their goods than most Matoran cities can afford. I want one of you to go with Makuta Ikarax and his aide Prydak to explain the necessity of cooperation to them. After he left, we flipped the Rahi to see who would have to go. Unfortunately, it had two heads and no tail, so it took quite some time to arrive at a decision. The mission was successful, of course. After days of negotiations, Ikarax lost his temper. Later, after the rubble had been cleared away, the Zeans were more than willing to be reasonable. We practically had to drag Prydak off the island, so taking was he with the place's potential. It was only when we were close to Destrol that I realised I had forgotten my pet project, my favourite sentient rock. I must have left it in the centre of the island when we were inspecting the factories, I said. Most disturbing. I never travel without it, but it can be... difficult. What's the problem? growled Ikarax. It's a rock. Well, true, I answered. That is, unless it starts eating Zeans and grows into a mountain. Still, what are the odds of that ever happening? We sailed on then, leaving behind an island full of factories, a hard-working population of Zeans, and a very, very hungry rock. To be continued.